Hi everyone, Minerva here. Um, I was experimenting with this fabric softener sheet, I used one, and I had some leftover pieces of paper. This is a, a board, and this is paper, cardstock. So I just covered uh, the three with Mod Posh and uh, Fabric Softener. Now I was uh, going to I'm going to spray them. Let me spray them one at a time. Don't know what color I'm going to use. I'm just nothing planned. I'm just playing around. Spray this one blue. I was wondering if the uh, Mod Podge was going to act as a resist, but it's taking the color. <coughs> Change the color. Use the first, the first one I grab. Shake this real well, and brown incandescent copper saw those strips there and decided to make some bookmarks have them made dry them. I was making some uh, crafts and jewelry with uh, CDs. During Easter I was watching these videos and uh, I found some videos. They're in Spanish but uh, with some techniques I've never seen before, like uh, using CDs for uh, tiles, to make tiles, small tiles, and uh, jewelry. And instead of melting them in the microwave using the oven, Probably do a project share later on. Some construction going on across the street. Let me go get some, uh, probably get some stamps. Okay. So I'm going to use. I have these two um, owl stamps here on this small block. 
and I'm gonna use these inks. I've had these for a while. I think I got them at uh, Walmart. Their shock, Pikmin, or what? Just going to stand several uh, owls. And turn it around and stamp the other one. So yeah, I've been trying to do a lot of recycling crafts and use, uh, you know, supplies we have that we never use, use, you know, use up the stuff we have. I like this stamp a lot. Only fits there. So, what color should I use? Over blue, this dark blue, perhaps. Yeah, let's try this. They're nice and juicy, and I've had these for. Let's see. I'd say more than 10 years. I didn't get out my uh, pad. Mouse pad I use when I'm stamping. Well, you can, yeah, you can see it there. Yeah, now we will stamp another one over that. Searching for a stamp club. Alright, I didn't find anything I liked. There was a D stash though, but it was 44 stamps for, I don't know, I think it was $35. I've been looking around and stamps are getting pretty expensive. But I would like to uh, find a club where you could decide whether you wanted the, you know, the kit. Whatever the kit was for that month. I'm going to use my little fly and I'm going to look for some black ink. Oh, 
be around here. There it is. It's right on my desk. There's my little fly. Just going to ink this. So I didn't do any, you know, I didn't do much crafting during. Easter. I did watch uh, a lot of videos. Feeling a little lacy on Saturday. I, uh, Saw that fit with uh, CD tiles, and I decided to try that. Okay, so just went over the edge with some walnut stain and. Let me go ahead and make the whole, this crocodile is really uh, good, it's strong, because I uh, punched the holes in the CDs with it, no problem at all. I'm used to a big one. Pretty strong. Let me get my little uh, eyelets. I'm going to use a brown one for this one, a blue one, I can't hardly see that owl, but I'm going to use a white one there. Used a big pinch. It's kind of windy today. Oh, that looks nice. to remind myself not to squeeze too hard. Got the 
your eyelets and what else do we need? Would like to add some bling or something, but for now I'm gonna look for some ribbons which I have right here. Oops. Move the camera off. Let's see, I'm just really not giving this much thought. I'm just going to fix around the room. I'm not making them too long either because just get in the way. I'm liking that um, when they just put them in and they don't tie them, it seems like they glue it. They don't make a knot. I'm liking that look. I think I'm going to try that. What's this called? Hemp. Some hemp string ribbon and what else? There's some more over there on the wall. I have them on a kind of a curtain rod. But you have to find little um can't be too thin. I'm just gonna use these two. See if I can use that. The bead would pop. No, this is. Yeah, I like this. <coughs> Let me see if I can glue this without. My finger. Uh -oh. Oh, ouch, ouch, ouch. <sighs> yeah. I just screwed it there. I don't feel like making a knot. <laughs> The first one, and uh, I don't know, I might go over some. They're supposed to be flat because you don't want a bumpy bookmark. Just put these in a box. I'm putting a I have a box for little embellishments and stuff like that. that goes with brown. Guess I'm gonna have to use yellow. <coughs> well, since this is string, I'm just going to go ahead and make a little knot. amazing how you can clearly hear people on your videos, people that are across the street. And I'm standing up, I'm practically right in front of the microphone, because if I sit down, I don't know, since I'm moving around looking for stuff also. Um, 
but it uh, amazes me how you can hear when you're watching your videos. All the noise in the background. With this turquoise blue. Just put this one here since it's wide. I did try to paint. I had this image I had downloaded and printed. I tried to paint it with uh, some Copics, but I don't have my lighter here. If I did, I would cinch the edges, but I'm not going to go look for it now. So, so let's see. Should I just leave it like that, or that's the bees, and the owls came out kind of light, but you can still see them, it does need something else, let me go check, so I just grabbed these little containers I have on top of my uh, drawers over there. Let me try these. These are the little tiles I made with the CDs. And this one's supposed to be orange. I'm definitely not going to cover the Violet. Maybe I can. Oh, that would look cute. They didn't come out completely um, flat in the bottom because of the the way the the tray is. One screen. Let me see. Maybe um, I could put a blue one. Glue a blue one, I mean, a, a round, a square, and a round one right there. I don't think. Yep. I'll just glue it here. Try to pick it up and squeeze it in. one of these dots I make these. I don't know if I didn't leave them enough time in the oven. Some of them have that little, it looks like an indentation in the center. Don't know what that was about. 
to, or maybe it wasn't in the oven long enough, or maybe it was, maybe it was the opposite, I don't know. Still use them though. That's what I'm gonna put on that one, and this one, since it has a string, uh, let me see, I'm thinking button, I'm thinking, since it's a string, I'll use little heart. It's cute. What I'll do is I'll just put a string in each hole and make a knot. Then I'll put some glue let me just make a knot first. Sorry, I'm off camera. There you go. I made a knot, and now I'll just lift the button up, put a little bit of glue so that it holds on, stays on the knot right there. That's cute. Sometimes you just go with the flow and Surprise yourself. I know there must be some brown buttons somewhere, but I'm not going to look for them right now. I'm very lazy today. And I've been off camera. Just grabbed another button. I'm gonna do the same thing. Tie a knot. bit of glue and push it up. Pull it tight. And there you go. That looks cute. Two little buttons, and I'm leaving the, for now, I'm leaving this as is. Because like I said, you don't want any, well, I don't know, you shouldn't have any bulk. So, let's put the buttons away, and... I'm going to need another glue. I had two. <coughs> so let me get a blue. What do you call these? Um, enamel dots.
see this one I didn't make. These look uh, nice and flat and rounded. Let's see. Let's see, there's a string there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to glue an enamel dot to the other side. Then you could probably cut the excess ribbon if you want. Looks nice. Oops. Now I'm going to find another These do look like candy. I use metallic paint, but when you bake them, they look um a lot clearer. The colors uh, look lighter and uh, they look kind of pastels. So cute. But let me show you. Uh, let's uh, wonder where the tray is. Oh, here it is. See my, I have a little oven in my craft room. And this tray has these uh, ridges on it. So that's why they don't come out flat. Even though you use uh, an aluminum foil, they kind of get that rounded shape. So for the next time, I'm going to have to either find a tray that fits or find something I can put on the tray to make it flat. Maybe there's a tile or something I can use so that they come out flat. Because if you want to glue this to, a, let's say, a transparent uh, a vase or a plate, I used to find um, these uh, plexiglass dishes or some of them were even glass, but they were transparent. I did a lot of decoupage with them. Like I have a tray that's uh, plastic and we decoupaged it with napkins and stuff. Now here, I have uh, an enamel dot and one of those CD tiles could use an orange button for contrast, but I need to get some more buttons. I just saw these. See, these flowers are flat. So I might put a little flower here for, yeah, the need something. See that the difference that little flower makes? That's flat enough so that you won't create that much bulk. So I would call this one made like that. Put it in my belly stash and oh, there's an orange one here. Let's 
See what I mean? How expensive these things are here. I paid four eighty nine for this. It had eighty jewel florets. It's very old. I've had it for a while. But I'm sure you guys can find this a lot cheaper in the states. I don't know. It has. I'm gonna put another one here. that one with the little orange you know I might I like the idea of putting two it, it also secures what's already there so let me maybe I'll mix it now they now they're gonna put on loud music perfect when I edit my videos I put the Volume way up. So even then, sometimes the uh, noise outside is higher than the video. I do attempt to mumble sometimes, especially when I'm thinking out loud. <laughs> Well, what can I do? Let's do a spick. What am I looking for? An orange? Just use this gold one. It's supposed to be gold. Doesn't look like it, but it's supposed to be gold. When I used the inks, the colors came out better than with the acrylics. Although I do like how they came out, but with the ink, it didn't come out as dark. I'm sure the best thing is that uh, glass paint that one of them used. I don't have any glass paint. I was looking for some that I thought I had, and they probably... So here's the other one. And this one. Oh, I was looking for a button for that. Blue. Don't have any blue flowers. Yellow is supposed to look good. Well, maybe if I put a yellow flower and use a yellow button, it will tie everything. See how these little projects do take some time. Sometimes you think you can do this, you know, oh, a fast little project, and you end up, you know, not that I'm complaining, but I'm just saying that they do take time. Look, look what I found. Perfect button for this. It's got yellow and blue. And I will put this yellow flower right there. It will come as a surprise. But I do like yellow and blue. And then... I'm just going to tie this cute button here, and that's it. I have three bookmarks for my embellishment or swap or stash. For some reason, a little bit of glue. Cut 
DXS. Maybe a little bit of more glue. The track the knot right there. There you go. It's a cute little button. You find buttons like these in the sewing section and uh, especially where if they have a <clears throat> if they have a little uh, aisle or something for babies or little girls clothes you can find buttons like these so there you go a nice blue and yellow button a little yellow flower and those are my three bookmarks. Let me get my little box where I'm putting all this stuff in. <coughs> I was going to cover this box with tiles, polymer tiles, polymer clay, but I haven't gotten to it. So this is a box where I'm putting all these things on. Look what I have in here. I have these little flowers I made with the... Uh, fabric softener see some of them have button center some of them have uh, flat back pearls this one has a little uh, sequin flower I have two bookmarks here these are covered with some mulberry paper I found I'm organizing or trying to and I found a bag full of uh, little pieces of mulberry paper I remember they used to sell those I also found one of those one pound uh, what you call it one pound bags of uh, paper a butterfly and this is a uh, these we made with uh, hot glue and molds. It was a challenge in the uh, International Crafters Group in Facebook. This is a sticker. This is a sticker too. So these I did in the back on the front. Oh, here's another one. Kind of sticking to each other, huh? <coughs> these are uh, bits and pieces of paper and a little butterfly cut out and it has a little metal butterfly I'm going to try to put these separate in here so they don't stick to each other these are some <coughs> tickets I made I had these uh, left over from a ticket swap this is a trim like you, you know, it has butterflies. I cut them apart. <clears throat> so that's what I have in my little box here. And now I have three more bookmarks. These I didn't do the back. I don't know, maybe later I, I'll put some paper on it. Like I have. Uh, bits and pieces of paper here. I can cover this. That would be nice. So, that's my little embellish, embellish box. This is a box I uh, decorated. I think uh, one of those light fixtures came in here. Here, what I do is, let's say I'm trying out a new dye or just coating stuff out of scraps. I could have used this on one of those bookmarks. So what I have here are bits and pieces, the things I cut. This should go in that box, the other box. These are uh, some cards I made a while back. Thanksgiving cards. 
a little bit. Um, some paper things that T sent me. These shouldn't be here. These are little stickers. These are good for bookmarks. And, uh, like I said, cut out and print. These are prints out from Pinterest. Sometimes when I have a lot of scraps, I'll just take uh, my punches and start punching things. Like this butterfly, I have a lot of these punched out. So that's all for now, later on, because this video is getting too long. Later on I'll probably do a project share. So, have a nice day. Bye.